In battle, Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard defends his decision to bring charges against several former Atlanta police officers, among them Garrett Rolfe. Our Bo Beth Yates spoke with D.A. Howard. Well, there have been calls for Howard's resignation, some even saying he overreached when he filed charges against former Atlanta police officer Garrett Rolfe. But Howard defends his decision and saying he's not going to resign. I don't believe you're going to get the Brooks family telling you that it's an overreach. Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard says his decision to charge former Atlanta police officer Garrett Rolfe with murder is not only justified, but the right thing to do. I'm concerned about these people here in the community. I don't believe any of them will tell you that if you shoot a man in the back, because I would say that if you shot someone in the back, you'd probably be charged with murder too. So if it's you gets charged, I don't think it's an overreach that a police officer have the same standard of justice. Howard says his goal is to make the race yard shooting the last time an officer unjustly kills an unarmed black man. And when asked if the decision to file the charges were politically motivated, he responded. I would say that's hogwash because if you look at our record, we did, we've done 40 cases before. We've done four cases where we asked for an arrest warrant prior to indictment. I don't think that anybody who looked at our record can honestly say that it was simply done for political reasons. But in an emotional press conference just last week, Atlanta Police Union said the officers are the ones in need of support. We're being attacked by Paul Howard. We, we do the job to protect. We expect to be protected by our leaders, and they've all failed us. As for Howard, he says his goal is not to prevent officers from doing their job, but to make sure those who break the law are held accountable. It was the citizens that elected me, not the Atlanta Police Union. If you look at all of the offices all across the country, you will see that we prosecute more officers than anybody. So I think it exemplifies that we feel the pain. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you updates as we get it. Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News.